And welcome back to The Watchmen from Jerusalem. We told you earlier how this city is becoming a center of groundbreaking high tech and innovation. Well, a great organization called Made in JLM is at the center of it, and they're helping Jerusalem change the world one startup at a time. Take a look. Well, Rachel, when people think of Jerusalem, a lot of times they think of ancient Jerusalem. The Jewish people were here thousands of years old. These are ancient rocks, but there's some new and exciting things happening here as well. Tell us about Made in JLM and what you're doing. We're a nonprofit organization and we were established in 2012 in order to specifically build the Jerusalem tech and startup ecosystem. So really from the late 90s to 2012, seven years ago, um, apart from ironically a couple of really big companies such as Mobileye and NDS, which was a cyber company that were growing, it, there wasn't much of a small startup, a smaller startup ecosystem. There were only about 100 startups in the city. Um, so in 2012, a, a few people, you know, Neil Barkat was one of them, yep. um, said, let's do something about this. Let's, let's make Jerusalem um, better economically, better for startups. Um, and so that's one of the reasons why we established Made in JLM, in order to kind of um, help, to help the startups grow and connect the dots within the ecosystem. We already kind of had an ecosystem here. You know, we have great research from the university. We had some successful startups. We had some events, but but what we did was we connected everyone. That's what we are, we're kind of a platform that connects the dots. We specifically bring hundreds of groups here and in the morning they'll go and see the old city. In the afternoon they'll come and see startups and hear about what's been going on in the tech scene. And it, it, it's really becoming something that everyone does now when they come here. They don't just go to Tel Aviv and to the north of Israel and the south to see startups, but they'll, they'll also come to Jerusalem and that's why it really is it, all in all yeah. a startup nation. That's so cool because people can come here and they can feel the history, the history of their faith, the history of Jerusalem, which is the history of the world in many ways. But you can also look ahead when you come here and see these exciting things. Jerusalem's always been an innovative place going back 3,000 years to the times of the first temple. Uh, so it must be fun to show people that, hey, Jerusalem is kind of setting the standard once again. This is the place to be. I always say that Jerusalem is, is really, it's like, a light into the nations, it's written in the Bible. It's, yeah. it, that, that's what I feel like the innovative side of Israel and specifically Jerusalem is, where we're showing everyone um, you know, how we want to help people, yeah. all calm, all these different companies. It's, it, it's not just about you know, making money, it's also about inspiring others and really being a light into the nations. Yeah, Rachel, that's the thing that strikes me. Uh, all of these ventures you're talking about, they're all looking to help other people. Mm. They're all based on humanitarian work and helping others. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, and I think that's something, J Jerusalem is a very social city. Um, you know, I'm working in a nonprofit. There's so many nonprofits here. We have specifically programs to help nonprofits with the technological platforms. And I think that's also um, just the Jerusalem kind of secret source is this yeah. very helpful, um, helpful kind of atmosphere. So something that we always talk about is um, filgun. It comes from a Hebrew word, lefalgen, which is to give someone kind of compliment without expecting something in return. Yeah. And we even have a day called International Filgun Day in Jerusalem that we wow. created where every, um, every year everyone goes online, gives someone else a compliment. And that's something that's very, nice. very specific in the Jerusalem tech community okay. is that we all kind of want to help one another and don't expect anything in return. This essence of filgun, and that's something that's very kind of Jerusalemite. Yeah. Someone actually said to me who she came from Facebook to visit the, the country and she said that, you know, Jerusalem's so special because when you do something in Jerusalem, it's like magnified. Everyone's looking at you and that's why I feel like it's so everything we do here is so important and everyone looks at it and everyone takes inspiration yes. from it. And, and that's why I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing and helping the ecosystem here. Up next, more incredible Israeli innovation. See how one Israeli company right here in Jerusalem is helping to bring sight to the blind. Folks, this is an amazing story. Don't move.